A disaster can seriously impact your organization's operations, whether it's an earthquake, wildfire, hurricane, or human-caused calamity. Prepare for the worst and plan for the best with innovative disaster recovery apps. Next up, we have Claire Barnhorn, CEO of Solvis. Claire is a long-term humanitarian working for about 15 years in humanitarian aid from field operations to logistics and supply chain with a growing focus on data and technology. Claire is the founder and CEO of Solvez and Solvez Foundation. The platform provides procurement support for organizations in LMICs. In addition, Solvez enables open access knowledge and technical capacity for all through an open access catalog. Solvez provides access to over 400,000 suppliers worldwide. Thank you for the introduction and being invited here and to the previous uh, presenters. My name is Claire. I am the founder and CEO of Solvos. We are a procurement platform as well as a collaboration platform supporting agencies worldwide with uh, procurement processes. Uh, I worked for many years with MSF um, in supply chain and logistics, and I will talk about procurement today, which most of you think might be extremely boring because procurement is not the most sexy subject, but it's actually one of the key um, expenditure of any NGO working in humanitarian aid. And the reason why we set up Solvos is that we see needs rising globally and funding isn't going up in the same pace. Last year, we were only able to cover 55 of the UN global appeals for the most, emerge, uh, most urgent humanitarian needs globally. So what we have looked at is making sure that the money that we do have to be spent as efficiently and as effectively as possible. And with procurement activities being over 65% of any humanitarian budget, that's why we focus on uh, procurement and try to make it as efficient and specifically as effective as possible. Solvos is a procurement platform, so that's the second platform, but the first platform, so we have an integrated solutions with two entities, which the solutions catalog is maintained by the Solvos Foundation, where we provide open access knowledge for everybody. And we help to think through, if you have a need, for example, for light, um, you don't procure a generator because that's equal power, but you actually go to the use case and you have the criteria, your technical specifications, so you don't need to be a technical specialist to procure the most efficient solutions. We integrate this with a procurement platform. The tenders and requests for quotations are generated automatically, all compliant to donor rules and regulations, and those are sent out automatically already to the suppliers in the database, which are currently over 400,000. So this is the platform. If you go to solvos.com, this is what you will see. If you have a, an account, you can sign in. You can browse through, uh, you can also Google. So I'll give a mass vaccination um, solution as an example. So this is a solution for a mass vaccination site. We give a description. We show all the information from an operational perspective. You need to know how it scales, etc. We give all the items, this is a kit that are in such a kit in order to respond and set up a vaccination campaign. And then you know that all the products in such a kit, like this vaccine carrier, is fit for purpose. There's dozens of vaccine carriers, but how do you know which one to select to be fit for purpose? We also add attachments to uh, support the logisticians as well as operational staff as much as possible with the full life cycle, the full uh, path on such a campaign. And most importantly, we also add prerequisites. So what do you need to have in place in order to set up a vaccination campaign? You don't need only the um, renewal of the supplies, but you also need to know that allergic reactions can take place. And if you're not prepared for a, um, allergic reactions, you can actually go to the next kit and you can add this to your basket. If you've added to your basket, you can collaborate on multiple baskets with your team. If you're a small NGO, uh, we would like to give you the the same procurement capacity as any massive NGO out there. Um, if you work with multiple projects, you can have multiple baskets and collaborate with as many colleagues as you want. You can create your basket, you can modify, um, you can prepare your tender. So this is the second workflow where we actually dummy proof the full procurement process for you. This is not direct procurement and it's not donations. This is when you need to find the right suppliers for the right price, because when you receive donor money, you have to be compliant to the rules and regulations around procurement and getting quotations in. So that's the step where we're in, when you need to source for the best price, for the best um, uh, ways to get them and get them to you in the best lead time. So there's a lot of steps in between where we guide you. There's all free material in it. 
you can uh, send out your, um, your quotation. You will see a dashboard that you can monitor how many suppliers have added their interest, how many bids you've received, but you will not be able to open those up because for accountability and transparency reasons, when due time has passed, you can do your supplier qualification, you can do your bid analysis, and you can actually proceed to procuring for a, um, a good price um, with efficient and effective uh, processes in place. So what can uh, my call to action for you if you need any help with procurement? And I know this was extremely fast. I offer a demo with more lengthy explanation, of course, after this session, if you want. If you don't know the market or if you don't have a technical specialist at hand, we are always out there for you to help. And um, I'd just be super thankful to hear from you and wish you all the best in all the operations you do globally.